This is Engineering Marvels. In an earlier episode, the process of distillation was discussed. It's a way to separate materials from each other for the sake of purification. In distillation, materials are vaporized to separate them from each other, and the process is effective, but it uses a lot of energy. If distillation doesn't work or is too expensive, another method, extraction, can sometimes separate two components of a solution. Instead of the second phase being a vapor as it is in distillation, extraction uses two liquid phases. The key to this method is that the solvent, the liquid added to form that second liquid phase, doesn't dissolve in the mixture to be separated. Ideally, the solvent dissolves the material that's going to be recovered or removed. Does this combination of dissolving and not dissolving sound difficult to exactly match for a successful process? Well, the answer is yes, it is, but there are a huge number of candidate materials to pick from. We can pick any material that can be a liquid under the same conditions as the material we want to extract. In fact, the possibilities are even broader than that. In some cases, the target material to be removed can be in a solid. That process is called leaching. In that process, the solvent is flushed through a bed of solid, removes the target material, and sweeps it away from the residual solid. Extraction is used to process copper and uranium. It's also used to recover acetic acid from water. Extraction also is used to separate biochemical materials that can't be distilled. Chances are a lot of you know one of these biochemical examples very well. You drink it to extract the jitters. That's right, coffee beans are decaffeinated through extraction using liquid carbon dioxide. That decaf you'll enjoy tomorrow is quite the engineering marvel. Engineering Marvels is a joint production of the Frank H. Dodderwhy College of Engineering and South Texas Public Radio. Past episodes are available online at tamuk.edu forward slash engineering. I'm Jason Martin.